大家好 ，I'm Nathan Rich, aka 火锅大王。With so much going on these days, I thought I'd change the way I do things a little bit. In the past, I've tried to cram any news updates directly into my videos, but instead of that, I'm going to start making a separate video like this one when I have any updates to share. That way, if you care what's going on with me personally, you can watch these update videos, and if you don't care, you don't have to. So, without further ado, I give you the first news update. So let's see what's been going on.、Uh, oh, a quick update on the documentary series. So far, I'm doing the entire thing myself. All the research, writing, finding all the images and videos, the editing. I'm doing all the timelines and planning, the sound editing, and everything else. So it's going a bit slow. And a lot of people have messaged me asking how they can help. My girlfriend is doing all the translating and subtitling, which takes a lot of her time. The part that's taking up the longest for me is finding high-resolution footage and images. So, if you have any kind of access to national archives or unlimited high-resolution clips or images online, that would be helpful. But there will be almost no one out there, so it's wishful thinking. Other than that, the best way to support me is to share my videos with other people and help to expand the channel. Much appreciated. Oh, also, the last video I made about Xiang Gang got quite a funny reaction. I already knew some activists wouldn't like it, but just as we expected, they made sure to let me know. There was a campaign against the video, with massive groups of people or bots coming to dislike the video. I really hate to tell this to you guys, but I don't care if you click the dislike button on my videos or pay some bots to do it. I'm not here to get likes. And as I said in the Hong Kong video, I'm not here to disparage you either. You want to go protest? Go for it. I'm just saying you should probably understand what you're protesting for and against while you're doing it. A lot of the comments were positive and some were negative. Like most videos, I try to delete hate speech, racism, that kind of stuff. Though I don't have enough time to go through all of them. People who passion post. Won't get far because hopefully we can all start talking with logic and understanding rather than quick slashes. But there's one kind of hate comment that's the worst. There was a common theme to some of the comments: a depressing self-loathing. Just look at this comment: Lai Qinwei, a Hong Konger, says, "Quote Chinese F K off." It's honestly the darkest part about this whole situation: people who hate themselves. They hate their own culture, and they are so overcome by emotion they have nothing to contribute to the conversation anymore. Don't hate yourself, and you can stop hating others. I learned that the hard way. By way of contrast, here's another comment from someone else against the bill. This guy, though, is from the mainland. Just look at how different the feeling of the comment is. This is from One Love Dan. As a normal person in mainland China, I support this protest. I believe there might be some other ways to deal with this murder case instead of trying to pass this evil bill. Yes, I believe this bill is evil, etc., etc. I won't read the whole comment to you, but I just wanted to show you what a normal or good comment looks like. Hell, I don't care if you disagree with a hundred percent of everything I say, but making a comment of hatred, even against your own people, is just not going to help anyone, least of all yourself. And if you think calling me names or clicking thumbs down on my video is going to do anything to me, you're right. It reminds me of how much more work I need to do. It fuels me to make more videos and get my message out louder. It shows me that you care. So thank you, protesters, for your energy boost. I will be making another Hong Kong video shortly. But if you thought that kind of stuff would bother me, you do well to read my book. Then you'll realize nothing you say to me could ever bother me. I've been through more than most, and some internet backlash doesn't even make the top 100 bad things that have happened to me. So try something else. I know, maybe you can go read some cult website and make a video about how I'm a dangerous criminal, or dig up some big secret from my past. You know, like from my book. It's available on Amazon. Go ahead. In the meantime, I'll keep telling it how I see it. I'll release another Hong Kong video soon. And for those of you who wanted me to do a video about Tiananmen, fear not, there will be one in a while. I won't be able to do that kind of video though until I've gone deep into the history of China and how I see those events. Then things will start to be open for me to discuss. I know everyone likes to just quickly form opinions these days, but in very critical topics like this, there needs to be a contextual understanding first. As for those people who think I'm afraid to talk about certain subjects, they're wrong. There are only a few things that scare me, and talking about protests isn't one of them. 
let's see what else is going on uh oh can anyone recommend a good tattoo shop in beijing looking to get some more work done if so just let me know leave a comment about it and use the word tattoo so i can search it i'm thinking maybe a hey by wu chang tattoo or maybe an american flag who knows got to show some proper respect to my homeland and recently i participated in an event with huawei and cgtn but don't get all excited I was really just there to ask some questions and hang out. Ren Zhengfei was there, and I'll be doing a video about that soon, probably. Kind of a busy time for me recently, so I apologize if I'm a little bit behind on answering messages. Oh, and also, I'm sure you've already guessed this, but YouTube has been demonetizing my videos. So if you want to help me out directly, feel free to do so. I will carry on without any further support, but I'm taking a financial loss producing these videos. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving so far, and I know we've still got a lot to talk about. So let's keep the discussion civil and progress in mind for all. Thanks, everybody. Xie xie.